What's going on guys? Iggy here, Faltec Unlimited, the holster guy. Uh, we're doing a custom request today. So this is a uh, holster from, or not holster, but this is a flashlight from a viewer slash customer. And uh, we're going to be hooking this up for him today. Uh, I do not offer the TLR2 because, well, I've never had an offer for it, so I just don't do it. Um, but this gentleman was nice enough to send this to us, and we're going to go ahead and pop this massive thing on and uh, get going. And I'll show you how to incorporate the laser into this. All right, I'm just using a nickel to uh, tighten it down. So uh, it's pretty basic. Do it like you would. This is a inside the waistband, so uh, there's only going to be um, just a few extra things on here. And uh, it's not clot or anything like that, but it's going to be one three-quarter foamy, black carbon fiber, which is nice, and uh, adjustable cant with uh, half a sweat shield, so it's really not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and load these guys on. Oh, he's got oil on here, so to clean this with alcohol which won't do anything to it and there's no batteries in it which is good I always like to take batteries out so that won't stick throw that out we'll do this again cold in here today, you can see my breath. Luckily I, I just got the fire going, it's, it's heating up, so we'll be good. Alright, cover the mount. Square it up. Yeah, you can hear it cracking. Let's get this going. So one, two, three. And if you are new to holster making, the reason why I do five layers of tape is so that the kydex isn't actually touching the uh, firearm when it goes in. So it gives you more of a chance to not scratch up somebody's safe queen. Okay, I'll go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to wait to do my piece underneath. So the TLR2 is going to have a different uh, retention point. It can be along these ridges, but it won't be a lot. So what we're going to do is right here is going to be the retention point. So to set that up, I'm just going to throw a piece of tape right here. And I'm going to have this go upside down to about here so that it will cave in right there. So it'll cave in behind the mount, and I'm putting this here so it doesn't scratch it, because uh, not my light, because my light wouldn't care. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to do another blocking right here for the bolt, because the bolt will add some uh, retention as well. That one might add a little too much, so I'll get back to that one in a second. So as long as the codex can get in there, which it still can, plenty, uh, we're going to have to do something just small and right there, which no big deal whatsoever. I just got to make sure I have something that's small, which even if I do something like this, that's perfectly fine. It's still out of the way of that bolt. So let's do that. And again, it's still open right there, 
to have the retention on it. And uh, so next step we're gonna do is we'll get these on going around and that like hugs the light widgets together, which is good. And this is right-handed, so this side is done. And we're gonna go with this side. Again, that's still available. And uh, what we need to do now is a uh, retention plate. I know I don't have one for this because I've never built one. So I will go get our quarter inch wood so we could go ahead and do that. And then what we'll have to do is we have to just block the laser out just a little bit. So I will grab that. Set this up. Just trace it. Make sure you go far enough out for the blocking. This is a 17 TLR2. Actually, you're gonna like come down here more. And cut it. Here, as close to the center as you can get. Then I hold it with my dad bod. There we go. And we're gonna have to block right here. Just right there. No big deal. Technically, um, you could heat it up at the end or you could cut it up here and then go down you know but I like uniform so we're gonna extend it out a little bit and to do that I'm just gonna use pretty much a piece like that but let's see how let's see how this goes we're gonna stick some more tape on this Right. So again, we're going to have to do let's see where the laser ends. Right there. So the laser ends there. So we'll just have to do a quick something right there. Whether it be actually a round dowel that's cut into quarters, that would actually work too. Let me see if I have any. Uh, I got some actually right here for the PO1. Would actually work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see which one fits better. Let's see how well this fits. That's actually not bad at all. Oh, that 
ones in. And this is literally just shaped wood off of my uh, belt sander. It's for the trigger guard area of a um, CZ P01. Alright, so that's good. Now uh, we need to cut our piece of carbon. Which I have one already cut. Cool. So, bam, roll it. Always take this off. You will regret it. Wipe or blow it off either one. This is already preheated because I had the oven on for a while. And uh, oh, yeah, we forgot something. Let's do that real quick. It helps if we add the. Uh, the belt loop or the the clip where that's going to go so i'll just throw that right there ah, too big that down it's adjustable all right tape that guy and because it is raised what we have to do is throw this in an area we'll grab our 175 here And we'll throw that right there. That way it doesn't get in, in the way of that piece. For the retention. And now we'll go back to this. Now we're good to go. And then once that heats uh, to 350 degrees, uh, I might go a little bit higher because we got to get in a couple nooks and crannies. But our foam is pretty good. As you can see, I can squeeze it almost all the way through. And then uh, once that heats up, we'll use our IR thermometer, get that going, and then we'll go ahead and throw it down into our press. And we're at 360 degrees. First layer down. Next down, place it where you need it, push down really good, grab it near the muzzle, and pull out, but towards you. Put that other piece down, get it in there with pressure already, that way the kydex doesn't move, and go ahead and clamp it down. I'm going to use quite a bit of force on this one only because of that retention point, but not too much. Uh, generally, you do it by feel, and I feel that is good. So in eight minutes, we will come back. Good to me. Shut that off. I had it off for a little bit of heat in here, but that looks that looks great. Cool. All right, so let's uh let's get this going. So retention. Should take it out first. Sometimes your blocking comes off and gets stuck inside. That's okay when that happens. All right, let's get everything off. Not my light, so I don't want to get the the knife next to it. And be 
careful not to throw your blocking out. stuff later on all right so let's see it's always fun to hold this still with one hand there you go sometimes you take the flashlight off too but line up the grip line up the muzzle and we know it's going to go here and this gentleman is doing a half sweat shield, so full sweat shield for me goes to here. Um, the chamber is around there, so we'll come up to there. So pull up, and bam, and it uh, doesn't say RMR cut, but we do that anyway. If it's possibly, you can take it. So this will actually show us where. So our RMR goes right to there, yeah. So we'll go just a hair further and then extend that way. And that's not going to cut into that at all. And that's not gonna cut into that, all right? So we'll stop it at the light and we'll just go straight up and cut it right there. Now our retention is right here. So we're gonna put a retention point right here, right here, so we can carry this down a little bit and then create the shape you want. And this is going to go just like that. We'll go ahead and drill these. Clean your holes. There we go. And we'll go back over to the uh, bandsaw.
at the muzzle or the the bezel. Clean it now. A little scrub. And don't forget to do inside and out. And I'm gonna go grab the hardware and uh, we'll finish this up. I'll bring it inside later on to, uh, to laser it. I moved my laser into the house because it was uh, so cold that I ended up popping it. And so I had to fix my laser, and uh, I'm going to do a little video on that later because I, I got it up and running, and I'm going to be doing a magazine for a friend. But uh, I'll grab that hardware. All right. And I'm working on putting together a list with um, links to literally everything I use. And uh, once I get that finished, I'll put it in um, every video. So you'll see the hardware that I actually use. Although I do have an order coming in today um, from Knife Kits. It was another thousand dollar order, so I will be uh, um, showing that once it comes. But let's check this. A little tight. I like that. Um, so holsters, I set them to where I personally like them, which uh, leaves the end user to honestly put them wherever they want. Uh, I need to clean the inside of that. This guy, a little bit of thread locker. On only one, and that one is gonna go in the pivot point. And the second one is not. We'll square it up. Oh, a little too far, I could feel the bolt on the other side. I stop it when the bolt is flush. You don't want it going more because it will scratch the firearm. Quick clean off. Oh. Apparently didn't get. There we go. And there we have it. An IWB for a Glock 17 with TLR2. Ha, bam.